And this last question comes in from Joshua about the new TriCaster Mini. Now, many of you know I've been using a TriCaster uh, to do everything you see here on the channel since 2014, and I've been getting a little nervous about it given that it is now five years old or will be five years old very shortly. I'm still on my original hard drives. Everything seems to work just fine, but it's limited to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Uh, now, last week, uh, New Tech announced a brand new TriCaster Mini, which from the front looks pretty close to the original one that I have. Uh, but the back of it is very, very different. Now, this is kind of a production geek thing, uh, but it's uh, something worth talking about because this device really makes this channel possible. It's the key to my efficiency. Uh, so what the TriCaster is is a video switching device that allows for real-time compositing. So this screen that you see right here is not being done in post-production. It's being done on the TriCaster itself. And if my graphical abilities were better than what they are, this would look nicer. Uh, but you get the idea. It's a pretty uh, nice production system. Uh, you can do a lot of this now on a powerful PC. But there's something about the fact that this is an appliance that turns on and does nothing but this. And I really liked having that because my job now is not to build PCs and keep them working, it's to make videos, and the TriCaster works every time I turn it on. Uh, so that's why I've largely went with this much more expensive option for producing my videos. And by the way, when I purchased this back in 2014, uh, there really wasn't something on the PC side that would work very reliably. That's starting to change, but I still think the TriCaster is a good choice for, again, people that are in the business of making videos. And what's cool about this new device is that you'll notice there are no HDMI or SDI inputs on it. It is completely IP using the NDI standard. Uh, these four plugs here are PoE Ethernet jacks. And what you can do is plug in uh, these NDI converter boxes directly because they're powered over Ethernet. I believe the base model of the new Mini uh, comes with two of those boxes. And I've got a bunch of them here already. And you can then just plug them in directly to the TriCaster, but you also have two gigabit Ethernet adapters on the device itself, so you can bring in stuff over the network as well. I did a full video on NDI and what it's all about in the comments or the video description thing down below, uh, but the bottom line on NDI is that you can take video and put it out over your network with very low latency. So I can bring in video from my phone over Wi-Fi. I can bring in video from other parts of the house that I can have come in either Wi-Fi or at a higher bandwidth through my Mocha adapters, for example. It's a very flexible video format that really gives you the entire campus to work with insofar as transmitting video over long distances. And this new one is built completely around that concept. And I think it's going to be uh, something I might uh, upgrade to. The big kicker with this one is that it will uh, handle video at 4K up to 60 frames per second. Uh, so what that means in the short term, provided these cameras can do it, uh, is allow me to upgrade to a 4K 30 uh, production without having to buy anything new beyond the TriCaster. So we may try that. We'll see what happens. I'm going to keep an eye on this when it comes out. Uh, the big factor for me is what I can get for a trade-in on the existing TriCaster. This new thing is not cheap. It's about $8,000. But uh, this is, again, key to the efficiency. And I can tell you I made back the money on the first one very quickly, just given the production uh, workflow that it allowed me to do while I still had a full-time job, for example. So this is a good device, uh, definitely worth looking at if you are a production professional. And it's really neat to see a fully IP-based uh, production device now on the market that is capable of doing 4K60 stuff that is expensive, but not as expensive as some of the other ones that they put together. So stay tuned. We're going to maybe get one of these things in soon, and we'll put it through its paces. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters, The Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv s.